and we come up with reasons, excuses why we can't have it, but why we should, and it leads to resentment instead of action. Instead of excuses, it's time that we start having execution. What the hell do you want? Quit looking at somebody else that has it with resentment. Look at somebody else that has it with empowerment that if they can do it, I can damn well do Gentlemen, it. Gentlemen, what's going on? We are staring down the barrel of 2022. 21 is drawing to an end. And there's two ways to look at this past year. One is to look back and say, yeah, man, I, I accomplished all the things that I wanted to. I became a better person, the better body, better finances. I got that woman. And there's the other side, that excuse-ridden side where we say, well, I didn't accomplish so much because of this, and COVID happened, and she turned out to be a skank, and well, you know, I like chocolate more than I like going to the gym. We can come up with all these excuses. We can swim in that pool of excuses, but if you're like me, excuses ultimately lead to anger, anger at myself, anger at others. And resentment, resentful towards those that have achieved something that I haven't. And I look at them with jealousy like, ah, who the hell do they think they are? If they only knew all the excuses that I've, I've came up with so that I couldn't experience their success. There's a story. This guy finds a genie or a lamp and, and a genie comes out and says, man, I'm going to give you three wishes. The dude's like, yes, he's totally pumped up. Uh, but the genie says, hold on, there's some conditions. Whatever I grant you, I'm going to grant your neighbor over there double. So if you ask for a cat, I'm going to give him two cats. And the dude's stoked. He's like, I, whatever, man. I'm, I'm going to get what I want. Who cares? And so his first wish is for a thousand cattle. He wants a thousand cows. So the genie says, poof, bam, there you go. And he's the, the guy says, man, I'm going to go home and think about my second wish. The genie says, all right, man, you have three days for this. He goes home and notices his cattle, but then he notices his neighbor has double that. He's got 2,000. And a little bit of anger and a little bit of resentment begins to pop up. Like, that guy. So he thinks about what he wants. Goes to the genie and is like, man, I need land for these cattle, so I need a 1,000 acres. Boom! Genie grants him a thousand uh, acres. Guy goes home, sees all his land, sees all his cattle, but then he notices his neighbor. He's got more land, more cattle. And this anger, this, this this resentment begins to kind of swell up within him. He thinks about what his next wish is going to be, and he's kind of stewing in that resent, that anger. Who the hell does that guy think he is? Better than me, more than me. So he goes to the genie the next day. Genie says, okay, what, what you wish? And he says, I wish to be blind in one eye. The genie shakes his head, says, damn, poof, grants him his wish. Neighbor is completely buying the, the, the one guy has one eye. The moral of the story is that jealousy, envy can lead to blindness. Not only that, man, it just leads to this, this, this poor ideology that, that the world is out to get you. And it leaves us in a state where we're living in excuses instead of action. We see a group of people that claim oppression and poor pitiful me and if only I had this or that instead of taking action. And when we become so focused on the success of others instead of focusing on what we can do to get there, of course it's going to lead anger and resentment and bitterness and that self-pity. And that's the state of, of this participation trophy culture, man, where for so long we've we've been told that everybody's equal, everybody deserves the, the trophy. No, you have to put in the work to be successful. And when we look at those that are successful, that have accomplished things, we shouldn't be filled with, with bitterness, with anger, re with resentment. That should empower us to say, man, it's possible. If they can do it, then I can do it. Instead of stewing in this resentment and this anger and this poor pitiful me, and I'm going to wish that they blinded their eyes and lost everything, why don't we start taking the actions to get there? This is a new year, a new year coming up. Surely we all have goals. If you don't set a damn goal, whatever it is, start taking actions to get there. Quit focusing on what you don't have, comparing yourself to the guy next to you. Start focusing on the actions you can take to get there. 
Because I promise you, everybody that's achieved that success, everybody that has the relationship that you want, the life that you want, the body that you want, the money that you want, they started somewhere. They had to take actions. And in this easy button culture, that's what separates you from the rest of the herd. Start taking actions to get where you want. Life isn't fair. Whoever taught these, these this generation that it is, and I've fallen victim to that mindset too, that, well, I deserve it and, and it should be this way. No, it shouldn't, man. Part of life is that, that suffering, that difficulty, that harshness. And as a man, that's what separates us from the crowd. We should have that stoic mindset, that Amori Fadi, where we love our fate. This is a challenge that's going to strengthen me. Many times we fall victim to that resentment mindset, that resentful uh, attitude where we look at everybody and their success and we come up with reasons, excuses why we can't have it, but why we should. And it leads to resentment instead of action. Instead of excuses, it's time that we start having execution. What the hell do you want? Quit looking at somebody else that has it with resentment. Look at somebody else that has it with empowerment that if they can do it, I can damn well do it too. That person's merely a human with as much uh, things and struggles going on in their life as you. Remember, we can't look at the surface level. Everything's superficial on the surface because deep down, everybody's got issues. They're dealing with the same shit as you. They lost a job. They lost a loved one. They lost a relationship. Life sucks on a day-to-day -day basis in, in whatever areas that, it, that it's coming to slap people in the face. Life can be hard. Everyone experiences that. I don't care what their social media uh, account looks like. That, that profile pic with the perfect lighting and the perfect angles, that's a facade. Here's the deal. People that are successful are successful because they've taken action. They didn't look at somebody else and, and hold a resentment face towards that. They looked at somebody else and said, if they can do it, I can do it too. Part of being that sovereign man that separates himself from the crowd and takes ownership of his life is taking ownership of the actions that it requires to get to the steps where you want to be. Those steps being wake up, decide what you want, take action, repeat that process. A lot of people get so focused on what they don't have that they lose sight of what it takes to get where they want to be. And it causes, it causes self-anger. It causes self-pity. It, it causes resentment towards those that are successful instead of looking at them as, wow, if they can do it, so can I. So here's the deal. Pick an area that you want to improve in this new year. Quit looking at other people that have achieved it with resentment. Look at them as, as an example. Look at them as some motivation. Look at them as, uh, as someone that if they can achieve it, so can you. We got to remove this resentment from our eyes. We got to remove envy from our eyes. That's, that's the oppressed. That's a victim. That's someone that comes up with excuses why they can't achieve what everybody else is achieving. And it leads to this poor, pitiful, mean misery where we're drowning in the quicksand of, oh my God, my life sucks. What can I do? What can you do? We can get our ass up and realize we got 365 days this year. Every day, wake up, do something better. Every day, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to do something to become a little more of a badass than I was yesterday. I'm going to get better. No excuses, no resentment, no envy, no jealousy, no hate. What the hell can I do today to become a better person, a better man, and accomplish my goals? The barrel staring us down. And we can allow this new year to replicate last year where we were swimming in those excuses or we can just say, I'm going to be a badass man. I'm going to do badass things, take badass actions, and live a badass year because I'm not going to compare myself to anyone. I may look at the people that I want to uh, emulate and recognize that if they can do it, I can do it. It may require hard work, but I'm willing to put that in because I'm not focused on what I don't have. I'm focused on what I do or what I can do to get to the place where I will have what I desire. I love you guys. You'll hear me next episode.